Howdy friends, welcome back to the uh, homestead for the chicken coop build. Today, we're gonna focus on getting the framing up and these posts. Let me show you what's going on here and let's get started. I wanna tie this building down to the floor structure a little bit better than just having a bottom plate attached through the floor with some nails. A timber frame post brace. Basically what I'm doing is cutting out an inch and a half on two of the sides here. And that leaves this two inch block down here that'll slide in here and then we'll run a bolt through it and that should tie this, the whole uh, wall structure down. Let's get started on these other ones and kind of show you how it goes together. So basically what's going on here, I'll measure up. I'm only gonna set it in about five inches. That way these two by sixes are five and a half, but I don't wanna have to have any issues getting it down in there. So I'll take a half inch out. That way we're not fighting anything. This here is two inches. That's what that pocket's gonna be, minus an inch and a half on this side. We'll just mark two inches here. Mark the bottom too. Then we'll take out that chunk. Also, we will make this mark on the bottom of the post. Flip it around and we're keeping this section here. So two inches. Bring that five inch mark around and mark that through. It's always good to throw an X. And then one thing to do too is put some sort of mark on the area that you're keeping. That way, not an X, you know, like X is remove and this would be keep. So we're gonna keep this and we're gonna cut this out, that out, and that. Now it's time to get out the, uh, the old coal powered saw. I guess here in California, we're pretty lucky to, to even have this electricity. So I just set it an inch and a half deep using this uh, two by six here. Oh man, the wife's gotta be just fuming inside. She's been wanting a she shed forever and I make a chicken palace. But let me show you what's going on so far. So I just threw these posts in and put some temporary screws in there. And then once we get the walls framed up, then I'll use bolts and attach it better down here. In order to get the best measurement for your bottom and top plate, the best thing to do is just measure from the base of post to post. 
that way and just cut both of them the same because these things aren't plumb right now. If you were to try and measure they, where they are now, you'd have two different measurements. So just measure from bottom to bottom. The best way to figure out your um, stud height is to put your bottom and top plate on the floor and then measure off them to the height that you want the wall. So on this back wall, I did 16 on centers. Um, that'll make more sense when we get to the uh, nesting boxes. On the sides, I'm just gonna save material. I don't really need it. I'm gonna do 24 inch on center. Hook that four by four because it's gonna be part of my framing. And I almost forgot to mention, the uh, inside entry wall here is gonna be inset one foot. And I wanna add a stud here to kind of block it off when we add this wall in. It'll keep the chickens from trying to squeeze through right here. And we'll do the same thing on that wall. Time to bust out the big gun. Well, I think that's enough for today. Got the uh, three sides up. Only thing I gotta do now is just put my uh, double top plate up. For the next video, we will work on the front entryway here. A couple windows and a door. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.